Welcome to game. Hey guys, and welcome to GT Live. We are back for more FNAF. Yes, uh, since I'm kind of home alone, uh, I've been taking an opportunity to play more FNAF VR because I got to beat this thing in order to do theories on it. I'm curious where it's going. And you know what? I got scripts to do, but sometimes you need a break from scripts and you just want to play a creepy video game. Uh, and you guys seem to be enjoying it. So thank you first and foremost to all of you guys for showing up to these live streams. Uh, I hope you've been having fun with them. It seems like you guys have been enjoying them. I've been having a blast playing this game. Uh, I said it during the first two live streams. And I'll say it again today, this is, it, it's really interesting to see how Five Nights at Freddy's as a franchise evolves now that there's a team behind the game a little bit, or at least a team behind this particular game, that Scott isn't doing it all himself, all solo, or like with kind of like a scrappy team, but actually like, you know, a lot of manpower around him. It's very cool, and I gotta say, like, it's, it's a blast to play. It's cool to relive this, like, greatest hits compilation of FNAFs 1 through 3. It's cool to see how they've reinterpreted different parts of the series in, like, the Night Terrors games. And a lot of the new stuff that they added with, like, the vent repair and the new lore bits. Very, very cool. Um, and we're also very, very close to what I believe to be the ending at this point. Uh, yesterday we made a huge amount of progress uh, throughout the game. Uh, checking off like seven to eight different like mini games or seven to eight different uh, things on the to-do list, leaving us with only about like seven more to go. So we are in the final stretches here of FNAF VR Help Wanted. Uh, so hopefully, I, I would be surprised if we're able to get all the way to the end, but at least, you know, if we make good progress today, that would mean that the next live stream, we're wrapping things up, right? We complete whatever the last couple are, and, you know, at that point, hunt down whatever remaining coins and cassette tapes exist. So, this is the end game, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you know, let me, let me pull out my Doctor Strange. This is the end game. Uh, and we'll see where it goes. I'm, I'm really eager to see how this whole thing wraps up and what they have in store for us. Uh, this one, to me, more than anything else, feels like it's setting up the future of the FNAF franchise. And... I, you know, I'm, I'm excited to see where it's going. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember, but there's like a new augmented reality game that's coming out. Scott's been kind of questionable as to when that is happening, but it had like a decent amount, per, it had a decent percentage complete when he was first talking about it. There's new books coming out. There's a lot happening. And this is kind of like the start of FNAF, the next, the next generation. Someone hire Jean-Luc Picard for the FNAF series. Uh, so anyway, that's it. Uh, I'm gonna hop into the headset here and you can engage in today's stream in two ways. You know what they are. I don't need to say this, but it's nice to just have a routine. Step way, step, and I just choked on it. It's fine, don't <laughs> worry about it. I've only done this for like the last three years. Uh, hashtag GT Live. Uh, here's our basket of exotic butters. Let me know in, on Twitter. What should they let us know? What your favorite minigame has been from uh, FNAF Help Wanted so far. Ooh. Uh, has it been the recreations of any of the FNAFs 1 through 3? Has it been the Night Terrors? Nightmarion? Uh, plush Babies? What is it? So let me know. Hashtag GT Live on Twitter or in the chat where Chris is right now. As evidenced by Chris saying... People are saying things like, eat the puppet! Eat the... A lot of eat the puppets. Um, and hello, Chris! And butter! And you can eat the puppet. Apparently, you can eat the puppets. Like the like your little prize puppets, I assume. Eat the action figure puppet? Yeah. <laughs> Great. <laughs> let, well, let me hop into the VR stuff, and uh, we'll start off with that, actually. Um, I'll eat the puppet to begin with, and before we hop into the actual games, because you know what? You guys asked, and you shall receive. Um, I'm very curious why people are very excited about that. I mean, yesterday people were excited to see me throw the basketball at uh, our little glitch rabbit friend, Pet O'Hare, and uh, he, uh, nothing really came of that one, so I'm a bit skeptical, but we'll see. All right, so today, get ready, because uh, we're going to be doing some traditional FNAF action uh, with FNAF 1 and FNAF 3, to hopefully finish off FNAF 1, make some decent progress in FNAF 3, and then hop back into the Scrap Babies, hopefully... 
were able to get through that in relatively short order. Uh, so again, just I like starting off each of these streams with kind of a status update. Uh, we've got 12 coins. We've got a decent chunk of tapes at this point. Uh, we're up to night four in FNAF 1. We're all done with FNAF 2, both normal and hard mode. This is where we are with FNAF 3, so we still got a couple more to do. Dark rooms, we're up to plush baby in nightmare mode. Parts and services all done, vent repair all done, night terrors all done, up until what we're assuming is the final one that unlocks after you beat everything else. So that is where we're at. You guys wanted me to hop over to prize counter and eat a puppet, though. Uh, so let's do that. Uh, still nothing really, this is still kind of largely the same. Um, okay, let's see. Eat a puppet. Action figure. Here's uh, a puppet. Bree Ramsey is a fan of what's about to happen. She says you guys are awesome. Thank you. You know, I appreciate the attention to detail on this puppet, by the way. Uh, I didn't realize it's got a little, little you know, our, our little inky octopus over here. Our mime octopus is missing a little, little paint on her legs. I'm sorry about that. You need to update. Okay, so I need to eat you. Whoa. Weird. So I'm, I'm, I literally just choke it down. Choking hazard, friends. Um, oh, hey, where's my... Shoot, I lost my hand. Is my right... Do we have any batteries for my right hand, or is it dead? It has oh, no, did your hand die? My hand has disappeared. Ah, well, I will fix it. Can we swap it out real quick? Thank you, sir. While we do that, I will actually just use my left hand. So I'm... Wait, so I'm curious. Move. You stay there. So can I eat Chica then? <laughs> Look at what you've made me do, Internet. This is you, this is on you. Which hand is your bad hand? <laughs> so you, so you can, so basically it's it's kind of like a little joke. Like beware the choking hazards, right? That's kind of cute. Now well now I want to do this. What? Where's my body? They're like, you've shoved too many, you've shoved too many action figures down your throat. Wait, why didn't you give me body? Come on! You chitsin' out on me? I earned you, fair and square. There you go, look. Yeah, and we got baby. Here, let's get another chica. Oh, God. I have to, oh, oh, ooh, Chris, hey there. Thank you. That, that human contact was exciting. Okay. Oh, wait, what? You were in my hand the whole time! You were in my invisible hand! Weird, okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is totally the Five Nights at Freddy's crew. <laughs> Starring Bonnie, Bonnie and Chica. Hey guys, I'm here to save your soul. No, we're here to rock out. <laughs> no, we've got a concert. The kids love us. No, the murderer is coming after you. It doesn't matter, I need to satisfy my people. No, but please, your souls are going to be trapped in a haunted pizzeria forever. No, I just want a stage dive. Wah! No one was there to catch me. Don't <laughs> worry, my clone will take my place. I feel like I'm missing a cupcake. I don't know why the internet thought I was sexy. Look at my model. I'm kind of awkward looking. And not really sexy at all. Kind of awkwardly, you know, chicken themed. I don't know what it is. All right, let's eat. Let's eat Chica that is... Uh, what? So, so, so I choked to death by eating too many. I choked to death by eating too many animatronic action figures. Is that what happened? That's so weird. I here we were just joking around and follow the leader. Oh my god. Follow the leader? That's weird, guys. That's, that's creepy. So uh, I wonder if there's like an Easter egg as far as like the order you eat them in or something. Because again, like, and we're dealing with this when we do uh, the theories on Accounting Plus and trying to find the zoo level. There's so much, like, everything is possible in VR, right? You can do literally anything. You can phase through anything. You can, ooh, ooh, looking into the TV, huh? It's a very lean TV. Um, and so 
there's any number of combinations that you can do that the game will just let you do. And so I wonder if there's some Easter egg or action. Wow, I can rest return to menu or what do I restart? I died eating action figures. That's so weird. What's your favorite cake? <laughs> this is so odd. <laughs> Everyone loves Fazbear Entertainment. Okay, let's do one more, and then we'll uh, we'll actually do some gameplay here. Wow, I'm I'm really interested. Follow the leader, huh? So is the leader? I mean, Chico is technically the first to die, and then maybe if you eat them in the appropriate order of their deaths, Puppet is kind of a leader of sorts, I would say. I'm I'm really stunned by that. I was not expecting anything to happen out of that whole thing, so very, very odd. Uh, okay, that's popping in textures, and we're all good. Okay. We know how this works. It's just going to be hard, right? Because now we're getting... It's it's crunch time now in Five Nights at Freddy's 1. Uh, got the coin still. There's nothing new. Okay. There we go there. Hey! Hello. Hey. Talk. Oh, poor film guy. Rest in peace. What's that sound? Okay. What is that sound? Oh, it's from the it's from the phone recording. I, I was freaking out for a second there. Because it was really... I'm like, what is banging? But this is all in the phone call. I, wow, that is disturbing to hear. Just, like, playing in the background while you're doing this. I gotta admit. Um, Alright. Oh, so, Kylie's Corner wishes you could eat the phone guy. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you could unlock, like... Uh, a phone guy something. Ooh. Door. Oh, shoot. I thought he was coming. We'll just keep that shut for now, though, because he'll be here soon enough. Go. Come on. I know you're coming. No one's here. And... C come on, Foxy. Ah! Come on! You're wasting my battery! Buddy! There it is. Cue Foxy. Hey. So he's... He's banging on my door. But great. Bonnie's coming. Fr Freddy is Freddy's walking. Chica's coming my way, so I should see Bonnie and Chica heading my way. Make my way downtown. I'm really nervous. <laughs> this is it it's just very unsettling to be Craft here? Okay. Freddy is still kind of off doing his own shtick. Doing his thing. Doing that thing that he do. Okay, so Chica's gonna be showing up here soon. Okay. Door. Uh, Bonnie should be showing up pretty shortly here, I would assume. Apparently not. Okay, there. There. Chica's gone. Okay, you're going past. Foxy's getting mad. Foxy's like, why aren't you paying attention to me? I'm a pirate. I demand your undivided attention. Okay, shoot. That means... Right, because he's playing... Chica's coming again. He shouldn't be inside my room yet, right? Right? He, sh he shouldn't be in here. Should be in here, right? <laughs> right? Oh, jeez. This is paranoia inducing to the nth degree. Okay, who's coming? Who's coming? Nope, nope, come on. Chica's still hanging out. Okay, no? Okay, you're there. Oh, God! Oh, I just looked away for a second. Oh! Oh, okay. Woo! Woo, that got the blood pumping. You know, it's interesting, right? Because that's really the first time that we've legitimately gotten jump scared uh, doing, especially FNAF 1. 
my, my heart is racing. It's interesting. Like, we've done a lot of, like, high-intensity, really scary stuff. The tension that you feel playing FNAF 1, it, it's really a testament to how, how simple but effective that game is. Because playing it, you feel the, the tension growing and everyone kind of, like, breathing down your neck. It's really intense. Um, like, even though I've, you know, played this game so many times, and I know what's going to happen, and I have a general idea of, like, what I need to do largely in order to survive, like, you still have that, like, panic mode reaction of, like, oh my gosh, uh, this is really intense. Okay, I'm going to put him, put him to be quiet, great. So we just hang out, just, you know, doing our thing, listening for Freddy's laughs. So again, since it's been, what, five years? Four years since, you know, FNAF 1 came out? Some huge number like that? Uh, you know, Freddy's laugh is him switching rooms. You have to wait until the last possible minute to kind of like shut the doors on people. It does seem like Foxy, the window of time between him disappearing from the camera and showing up here is so narrow that I really should, you know, do what I've been doing and just shut it when he's in th in this position. It's, he's in this position for so long though sometimes. Like, that's my only problem with it. Nope, come on, come on, come on. I'm not hearing anyone else coming my way. Okay. So now he runs. I wonder if we'll be able to see him running. Yeah, you can. Like, you can really legitimately see him. So here's Chica, taking a little stroll. You know, you could just pop into my room now if you wanted to. Like, let's be honest here. That is totally doable. Okay. Gone. You're here. Shut you out. Go. Get out of here. Uh, that seems like it should be... Bonnie, come on. Bonnie? No? No? That was just Chica's sound? Okay, that's cool. That's fine. I'm cool with that. We're cool. Okay, that's Freddy. Freddy's moved to... Chica's gone. Freddy is not there, so we're good to clear it. We're clear to open that up. Ah! All right. Do 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 Bonnie's coming down the hallway now. Freddy is... Freddy... Don't you usually show up in the camera? I feel like I should shut this, huh? <laughs> just gonna shut it just to, be ca just to be sure. He shouldn't be here. I thought he showed up in camera. What camera does he show up beforehand? Okay, here comes... Oof, oof, okay. Nope, turn off. There you go. There's Chica. Get out of here. Okay, so now we're just burning through. Oh my gosh, stop! Stop, lights! Stop! Nope, stop! Just, just, no, let's not do that. Okay, there's him. Chica's gone. Lift that up. Bonnie also appears to be gone at this point, right? She's not standing outside. Good, okay. We're in a stable state again. We are really egregiously low on power. That is a bummer. Not super happy about that. That is truly a sad state of affairs. But it's four o'clock. So I'm just talking to myself to try and calm down. You know, maintain a, a calm head as, as best as I can. Who's coming? So that's Chica. Chica's gonna be showing up. Oh, jeez! Oh, God! God, Bonnie! Damn it! Oh! Oh, oh! Are you gone? Are you gone? I mean, I don't. Are you gone? Are you gone? Please be gone. I'd love it if you were. Good, okay, gone. Great. And. Has everyone gone over here? Yeah, it seems like it. I'm really paranoid now. Okay. Oh, stop. Okay, 
5 a.m., 15% power. We <laughs> Hopefully, fingers crossed, Venus is out. Come on, guys. Here we go. What? What? You are, oh, damn it. Effin' Freddy. Shoot, we had, ah. If Freddy wasn't just laughing his butt off the entire time. Darn it, darn it. Let's try again. Huh. I keep, uh, Bonnie is like some sort of ninja over here. I don't know if you've noticed this. I didn't realize it was part of the established canon that Bonnie is proven a legit ninja at this point. Let's be honest. Um, Cause holy geez. Yeah, he's crawling on ceilings. Right, like crawling on ceilings, just appearing in my doorway whenever he feels like, like he's just all over the place, man. Like I keep thinking I'm gonna be able to hear him walking past. But I don't know. Okay, that's that's seems the phone like, guy stuff. Seems like Chica's the only one who really stomps, and then you can always hear Foxy when he charges. Right? Yeah, Foxy. Foxy, you can tell. It's Foxy's a very tight window of reaction. Here it comes. Wait for it. 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 Come on. There you go. Good. Feel good about that. Chica's gonna be hanging out over here now, pretty soon. Chica's hanging out there. Here's Foxy. Chica's gonna be showing up right here in a second. Like, like should be showing up here. Great. That's. There she is. Great. You're gone. Freddy, at this point. Bonnie's not anywhere around. Chica's hanging out. Freddy. God, what's, why am, why am I forgetting what Freddy's pattern was? Okay, you're gone. Great, open that up. Great, gone. Kooky cat. Is that? Congrats on your last day of fifth grade. That's exciting. Yeah. Sixth grade. Okay, there's Freddy. Is better. So we don't have to worry too much about Freddy right now. Okay. Sixth grade is better? Lies. What? Get out of here. I think sixth grade is great. You are so wrong. Seventh grade? Not so much. Seventh grade, sixth and seventh grade are, are both rough, but you know, you power through. I, I was not a big fan of either of those years, honestly. Okay, wait, wait, who's that? Why, who's, what? Oh no, oh I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead to Chica? Really? Yeah, we're gone. Bonnie, there it is. Wow, I, I feel like I was checking on Bonnie so much. I don't know what the Bonnie thing is. I don't know how. Celebrate. Here, let's do, let's do one more. Maybe I just need to like warm up with something else. At this point, we're in like kind of hard modes of everything, which is unfortunate. Like we're getting close to like the end game of all the mini games, which means that they're starting to all get challenging. Right? Maybe I just need to be more aware of Bonnie on the cameras. And uh, Chris, yes. actually, will you do me a favor and just uh, look up uh, Freddy's movement pattern? Because um, I forget it. And, and it would be good to uh, just remind myself of like when I should be shutting the door on him. Because right now, I thought I remembered what it was, but at this point, since I've gotten jump scared by him, I want to just make sure, like, at the, I want to make sure that we're, I'm working with all the tools. Okay. Okay. It's fine. Okay. We're all good. We're all good. It's fine. Can I turn off the fan? That would... That would probably help me save battery life, and honestly, I don't need it. Let's let's be clear here, guys. I don't I don't need a fan. It's not even like my head is literally three feet below it anyway. It's not like it's helping me in the slightest. 
Okay, here Foxy's gonna come here shortly. Nope. Joke. Oh, ha! <laughs> wow. Great. Appreciate you not moving on the static there, buddy. So there's Chica moving pet. Wow. I love that you can see Chica moving on the camera. So there's Chica. There's Foxy being mad. Okay, so now Freddy is doing all his movement stuff. You're over there. Chica's gonna show up there in a second. There you go. See, as soon as you look away, you almost have to look away sometimes to trigger them into their appropriate position that you know is gonna happen. So here's Bonnie coming. Freddy. Freddy isn't in the bathroom. Fre so that should mean that Freddy... Where is he? Nope. Bonnie was supposed to be there, so I'm shutting her out just in case. Nope, stop. Oof. Not, nope. Not loving the power situation right now. Okay, gone, stop. Wait, no, you're there. God. Stop. You're, nope, stop, stop, stop. Nope, you're, nope, no. Oh, this is bad news right here, friends. This is, this is Matt dying right here. This is Matt running out of power at a very fast pace. This is no bueno land. This is the land of negative bueno. Gone. Yeah, this is. <laughs> this is this is called Matthew panic mode. Yeah, okay, that's Bonnie, being spooky over there. There's Freddy. Now I sh okay. There's Freddy. So now I see see I see him here, which is what's supposed to prompt me to shut it, right? Foxy's apparently at my door. Okay, so they're gone. You should be up. Okay, great. Freddy's still hanging out. I mean, it's not the greatest we've ever done, but we're still at 20% and it's 4 a.m. We could be doing worse. I mean, if, if Freddy would leave, that would make me a happy boy. But he is not, so, you know, kind of a bummed out boy. Oh, well, there's Chica anyway, so. Let's just keep the right door down the entire time. Feel free to leave at, at your convenience, friends. Ugh, 12. So Bonnie's coming. Feel free to leave. Thank you. But now Bonnie is going to be here any minute. So that's no boys. We got 9%. This is going to be one of those. <laughs> what? What? So. Yeah, what I, am I doing wrong? So I have, like, I have one, I have one strategy thing pulled up and one Freddy thing. Yeah. Apparently, um, nights after night three or night three onward, yeah, Freddy will be on the move when you are not looking at him long enough on camera. So if you are you sure that's not Foxy? Uh, I mean, it says Freddy here. Okay. Um, it says to keep an eye as and well, it says the same for Foxy just okay. below that. But yeah, to just be like checking on him, and if you don't see him, then know that he's coming, and it will always be down the east hall. Okay, yep. Um, basic strategy from just a how to deal with the lights with Freddy and the Pirate Cove. Yeah. I'm seeing a couple different ones, but one of them is uh, close the right door so Freddy can't enter the office, check the Pirate Cove for Foxy, check both hall lights. If Bonnie or Chica is in the doorway, obviously close the door. Yeah. And then repeat. All right. So, I mean, so, so the only thing that I'm not doing is just sitting on Freddy more. I just need to stall him out more. Yeah, it seems like you need to be checking on Freddy, and if you don't okay. know where he is, then close that, that right door. Okay. All right. I mean, we'll, we'll try it. <sighs> Darn it. I mean, the issue is they're also moving so fast now. Okay, so, so here we go. Uh, we'll do this one more time. If not, I'm going to move over to Spring uh, or Pluck. Scrap Baby, I think. Oh, boy, Scrap Baby. I wonder if that's wasting my power. I don't know. <laughs> Probably be good to know that sort of thing. 
Okay, Freddy's still there. Fine. I'm, I'm watching you. I got my eyes on you, Freddy. So then I should shut it while he's on that, in that, like, closest camera to me then, right? Checking you. Boop, 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 boop. Freddy's still there. Foxy's still there. Foxy is no longer there, or Foxy is there. Freddy's still hanging out, cool. No one's hanging out on my hallways, it's 1 a.m. Doing fine, we got 87%. Foxy's being a jerk, because he's like, look at me move. Okay, and Freddy's still there. Great, okay, so we're still waiting. Here comes this fun little game of like, wait for Foxy. Okay, so that's Freddy moving. That's Foxy still hanging out. I'm gonna shut it though, because he's coming. So now at this point, Freddy should be. Hey, okay, so that's, that's Chica. Great, okay, so this is clear. This is gonna be Chica there, great. Okay. Where are you, where are you, Fred? So Bonnie's coming down. Chica's still hanging out. Chica's gone. Open up. Bathroom. Okay, so Freddy's in the bathroom. Freddy's doing his business. You know, apparently he likes us watching him doing his business, which is, hey, I'm not here to judge, but kind of weird that that's a gameplay mechanic, but so be it. I, I support your decisions. Just making sure that the bathroom is being kept safe for you, buddy. Bonnie's still hanging out. Foxy's still hanging out. Bonnie's not near us. Foxy's hanging out. This is now uncomfortably close to me. I'm gonna shut this. Okay. Here comes Bonnie. So there's Bonnie hanging out. We're gonna have both Bonnie and Foxy attacking us here in a second. So I'm just gonna, you know, just gonna shut that here. <laughs> and just burn through a lot of battery life because that's, you know, that's what you do in this game. Just hang out burning through battery. It's fine, we're cool. Okay. Freddy. Oh, God, where are you? Anyway, there you are. I'm gonna raise that up. Chica's coming back because Chica is a jerk. And Freddy's here. So, he's right next to me. I'm gonna shut this door because I feel like that's a wise decision when you have a murderous animatronic next to you. You know, I feel like that's just taking precautions, taking a little safety. Unless he can phase through the door, which again, I remember him being able to do that. But again, it's been a long time. 25%, not the greatest, but so be it. There they are. Chica's hanging out. Okay. Bonnie's hanging out. Chica's hanging out. Bonnie's coming up close, but not yet. Seems like everyone's just hanging out on my right door now. I'm gonna just wait for this little little calliope to end, because who doesn't love a little calliope music, am I right? I, I sure love some. Right, it's the, the music of fun, fancy free. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna swap it out here. I'm gonna stop this. God, no! Why? It, I mean, obviously it's because I let him in. <laughs> obviously, damn it, damn it. Ah, I'm so frustrated. I haven't had a hard time with any, okay, here. Okay. Damn it. Okay. Yeah, if you can, while I do one of these other ones, will you just check his progression through the different rooms? That'd be great. Will do. Like, because he starts on stage. At some point he goes to, he go, I think he goes to the kitchen, and then he goes into the bathroom, and then he has, I thought, one other stop, and then he's next to my door. And then I guess we're just hanging out with him at that point, which is super cool. Great. Uh -huh. OK. 
Okay. Uh, for today's lesson, we will be continuing our training on proper suit handling techniques. When using an animatronic as a suit, please ensure that the animatronic parts are tightly compressed and fastened by the spring lock located around the inside of the suit. It may take a few moments. Where'd you go? Where'd you go, spring trap? Where'd you go, spring trap? Are you in the vents? That would be unfortunate. That would be unfortunate. Please don't be in the vents. Please don't be in the vents. Please don't be in the vents. You should not be in the vents. I summoned you away from the vents. I'm high. No. Okay. Go up there. Yep. There. Yep. Okay. Cool. Cool. Great. Cool. Hey. Hey. How about you come back this way? Come this way. Oh, you come this way. Hi. Okay. I mean. Whoa! 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 That's sorry. I mean, even if I get jump scared, that was totally worth seeing because that was pretty awesome, actually. Uh, that was pretty wild to see. I gotta admit. Okay, so he's hanging out there now, which I feel better about. Um, cool. Continue hanging out there. That'd be great if you could. Nope. Nope. Hey. Yep. I said. Huh? Ventilation. Rewind. Spring trips there. Come back to me over here. Hey! Breathe the breath of life. Breathe the breath of life. That'd be great. Hi. Hang out in Cam 10, buddy. Look at all the tasty morsels of children. I don't know why I'm referring to you as a cannibal, because you're not. You're just a weird, creepy serial killer. Not a cannibal, but you, you know. Can we really differentiate sometimes? Uh, okay, we're all good on our resets. Okay, he's hanging out. I'm just going to pull him back to 10. Cool. Still hanging out. Doing fine. Okay. Uh, thank you. Thank, thanks, game. Thank you for... Oh, okay. We're just going to... We're going to poop. Should have reset all of it, but that's fine. Hi. Just going to try to continue to pull him back to... No. This is delightful. Great. Where are you at? Where... Oh, damn it. Damn it. Okay. Hey, let's... Uh, let, ah, shoot. I should have just rebooted one. Poop. Okay. He's back. Good. Good. It's 3 a.m. I'm slowly passing out from my lack of oxygen, but everything's okay. I feel like that, uh, that image of the dog in the burning, uh... In the burning building being like, don't worry, I'm totally okay with this. <laughs> I am perfectly fine with this. Ah, damn it, audio. Nope, wait. There we go. Perfect. Cool. Yep. Jump scare. Fantastic. Delightful ventilation. Refresh. He's hanging out in cam 10. 3 a.m. Things are under control. Man, isn't it so much better when there's only one animatronic and he's not even a legitimate animatronic? He's really just a human trapped in an animatronic suit with the power of everlasting life based on the magic metal that he helped hone and create with the help of his business partner whose child he killed that then went on to possess a puppet that ended up becoming the savior of the universe. Five Nights at Freddy's! What's there not to understand about this game's <laughs> lore? That is, that is my summary of Five Nights at Freddy's lore in, an, in like, a one-sentence run-on. Crystal clear. Right? Makes perfect sense. Are you going to be back here? Why, why, why did you not come back? I'm, I'm, there you go. Oh, hey! Ah, oh, it's so cool. It's so cool. I love how they glow in the dark. I know that they're supposed to be, like, Phantom Freddy and Phantom uh, animatronics, but, man... I want them to be like day glow animatronics. <laughs> just like we have the neon animatronics in this game, I just love the fact that they have like glow in the dark Freddy now. Nope. Yeah, damn it. It's fine. I'm totally fine with this. Reboot all. Reboot all. There we go. Go, 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 go. Reboot all. Come on. Go, go, go. go. There we go. Hello. Hi. Hey, come and get me. There we go. Come and get it. Anything over here? Felt like something opened up over here. It's five. I'm feeling pretty good. Ooh, wait, is that a coin? Oh, <gasps> yes! Awesome. Just, just burning through time. Look, looking at my coin. I wonder if I could type things. Yes, okay, good, look. 
At least we're making progress somewhere, right? Yay! Yay! Clap and a half. Virtual clap and a half. I got uh, Freddy's progression for when we go back to FNAF 1. Thank you, I appreciate that. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> Your best friend. It's my best friend. It's it, we're gonna see more of you later in this live stream, aren't we? You're the nightmare uh, scrap baby plush that I need to deal with. Man, if the original wasn't cuddly enough, I mean, look, I love, I love how they've translated her lobster claw hand into like little like dinky. It looks like something that's gonna eat. Uh, it's, it's like a little, like, uh, hungry, hungry hippo kind of like, nom, 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 nom. So there you go. You are so odd. So creepy. It's good. Where's her roller skates? So, fun fact, uh, when he was making the, the designs for, uh, FNAF, uh, FNAF 6 and needed a new update to Baby's design, Scott decided to not only give Baby a lobster claw for reasons, but also roller skates because it's FNAF and why not? <coughs> it's, it's an odd one. So, uh, it's not the Canon model, guys. I am disappointed. My, uh, my virtual friend's gone. <coughs> 13 coins. Uh, let's try night four. We, we did pretty darn good in that night. It was pretty calm. I'm expecting things to get a little bit crazier here. But, uh, hey, we gotta, we gotta check it off the list, right? <coughs> it's on our to-do list. Okay. So he's hanging out. So we're just gonna try to lure him back to nine. Uh, hello. Say hello to phone guy. Uh, there's been a slight change of company Hi. policy concerning use of the suit. Um, don't. <laughs> classic. Ah, uh, classic phone guy. Why the classic okay. are being retired. Wait, we're- Nope! Damn it! Oh, you- you jerk. You- Nope. You jerks. You jerks. Come on. Darn it. Oh, I'm so dead. Great. We were doing- Oh, hey, Foxy. Nope. There we go. There. Okay, great. He's there. Hanging out. And again, this is one of the games- I'm being I'm the told face of there's a tape behind the reboot panel. There's a tape behind the reboot panel? Hi. Here, one second. No, damn it. Well, I have to look over there anyway. Oh, there's Foxy. Here. Oh, there is! That's cool! Good one, thank you, whoever thank sent you. that in. Uh, that was awesome. Thank I... you, chat. Thank you, chat. That was many, many a people. Really? Oh, awesome. Hello. Hello. So again, this is uh, the thing I was about to say. <coughs> Before I got jump scared and got the cassette tape. The the one thing is uh, with FNAF 3, you you want to play it the antithesis, basically, of every other FNAF game where you're constantly switching cameras. Because the more you switch, you only have to keep track of this guy, right? This is the only thing that matters. And so every time you're switching the camera, you're opening yourself up to more jump scares. You're... <laughs> Why did it get dark all of a sudden? You're... I don't want to look, but I did because I'm a glutton for punishment. You're, oh, great. You're opening yourself up to more jump scares. You're opening yourself up to more errors. You're opening yourself up to more necessary reboots. And so it's one of those things that it really behooves you to just really focus on, you know, Hello? where Springtrap is at any given moment and not switch. Like, it's, see, it's like the most an <coughs> antithetical thing from a gameplay perspective, especially when it comes to Five Nights at Freddy's games. I'm getting all choked up about the history of this franchise. <laughs> I'm so moved. Um, but no, it, it seems like you, you know, you want to do all this crazy stuff. But in actuality, uh, you don't, you know, like this is the one time where it's like, hey, let's just hang out. Thank you. Uh, I have all sorts of video errors happening now. Uh, well, I can't, <laughs> apparently I'm on multiple cameras at once. That's fine, we're totally cool with that. Great, let's, let's continue fixing everything I have going on right now. Yep, okay, let's, yep, just passing out slowly. Cool. Um, hey, uh, three, while I'm kind of hanging out here, uh, just chillaxing with my buddy Springy, uh, I can't reach, I can't reach the tiles over there. 
which is where you put in the happiest day code. But I'm curious. Hello. Um, Chris, can you find what? Nope, 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 nope. There we go. Can you find what the uh, original code was? It was like three nine, three nine five two. Uh, it, basically, it's like the hex code for purple backwards, uh, but it's like 395248 or something like that. Um, but we have a, a dial pad here, and just like we had to type in 1983 and sister location, I'm really curious if typing in that code will unlock either a tape or a coin of some form. That would be cool. How are you doing? Come on. Come on. Hey, stop hallucinating. Hey, Foxy. Hey, hey, glow, day glow foxy. Okay, no, oh, we got a video error too. Come on, guys. Hi. Here we go. Cool. So Springtrap's still hanging out in cams nine and ten. Again, and this is where you ultimately want him to be. Uh, what did I say it was? Three, nine, five, two, four, eight. No. Do I have to have the phone? Three, nine, five, two, four, eight. Nope. Oh no. Um, maybe I'm typing in the wrong number. Oh! There seems to be like a little bit of stuff going on. Oh, hey. Seems this is a... night three? This is night four. Okay. Making significant progress. Okay, hey, let's uh let's let's have a grand old time, shall we? Three nine five there... two four eight. What is it? Three nine five two four eight? Was yes. I right? Yes! I... You can tell that I've played these games too many times, or that I've researched these games at least too many times, that at this point I've got like the hex code for purple backwards memorized from three years ago or whatever it was. Great! Now I can have, I can equip my bedroom. I'm gonna put all these in Oliver's room so that way he can grow up and become either a child with his frontal lobe bitten off, a child haunted by night terrors, or a child who grows up to be a sociopathic killer at a pizzeria restaurant. Goals! Hashtag goals. Okay, so that's FNAF 3. Like, we're, we're unlike FNAF 1, uh, hey, look who it is. It's our good buddy. Um, and he's getting closer, but we also got a coin and a tape since we last saw him, so it's unclear what's driving him closer. Um, but at this point, we can try to finish off FNAF 3. Uh, in the nightmare mode. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Uh, let me grab a, a sip of soda just so that way I was getting a little verklempt before. But in the meantime, hey guys, how are you? How are you doing today, Chris? I am doing so well. Yeah? Oh yeah. I bought a bunch of uh, sodas on my way into the office this morning. Yeah. Yeah, there was a sale. Ooh. Now I'm drinking a cherry Coke Zero. Whoa! Hot take, better than regular cherry Coke. Let us know if you agree in the chat. Wow, that is a hot take. The hottest of takes, Chris. I really I really think it is. You're playing with fire right now. I think it's because it, it adds a level of sweetness to the Coke Zero flavor that isn't the like <laughs> intense sugar blast that, that is, is regular Coke. Cherry Coke. That's why you go Diet Coke, my friend. Here. Uh, Nightmare Mode FNAF 3. Let's do it. Uh, so, and then with this, we're done with yet another category of minigames, and all we've got is FNAF 1 and a couple more of Nightmare Mode in uh, Night Terror, or uh, in Dark Rooms. Whoop whoop. Right? Which is great. It's all red. Oh! Oh, that's so cool! Oh! We're, we're literally... <laughs> Speaking of hot takes, Chris, but doom ching. Uh, <laughs> you couldn't have planned that one any better. We're in the building as it's on fire. Oh, that's so cool. So, like, as you guys, I'm sure, remember, know, Five Nights at Freddy's 3 ends with uh, them setting the building on fire beca because. Oh, hey, wow. Uh, yep. Okay, reboot all. So. Yeah, so it, everything gets set on fire because they're trying to kill off Springtrap. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I will say this, though. It is it is no bueno because I don't know. Oh! Oh, jeez! Oh, wow. Wow. Look at this. That's a great that's a great animation sequence. That's cool. That's cool. That was terrifying. That's, they did such a good job of simulating 
what it would look like to be, you know, a part human, part like robot crawling at. That was great. Um, jump scare in three, two, one. Also, it's interesting, right? And this is interesting. And chat, Twitter, let me know if I'm just imagining things, just because I'm paying more attention now. But I've noticed that sometimes you have these these cords, right? And sometimes you don't. It seems like these cords only appear during nightmare mode, during the hard mode. And so I wonder, again, I talked about this yesterday, where I have a, I have a feeling or a, a guess that if you were to beat this game without touching any coins and without touching any tapes, you might get a different ending. And I wonder if nightmare mode is involved with that too, because... Unlike the regular modes, which I don't think have these, these aren't leading into the TV. These are leading into the machine, right? These are leading into uh, our little pedo hair, hair over there, and we're like in the process of piecing him together by completing these little mini games. I wonder if that's the case. That's really interesting to me. Um, where you at? Okay, so you're there. Redacted, you have been shouted out. Great, so he's coming there. Gonna push him there. Just gonna play both buttons with. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at, Springy? Springy, Springy, there you go. Push him back, push him back, way back. Push him back, push him back, way back. Come on. Great. Push him back, push him back, way back. You should be going this way. If you're not going this way, I will be slightly perturbed. There we go, great. Push him back into the corner. Great. Okay, we're, we're back slightly under control here. Um, great, he's hanging out here. That's what we want him to be. We want him hanging out here. Perfect. Just so you know, Matt, the uh, this might maybe this is the night the chat is back with Brandon Lee or Mr. Mystic um, reminding you about the keypad above the vent. We already tried out the code, but it may be worth trying out again. Wait, um, a keypad above the vent? Above the uh, yeah, Hello. above the like vent monitor. Like um, that thing? But yeah, they're, they're saying the code you said earlier, 395248. Yeah. I'm not sure if it'll work or if everyone's just remembering FNAF 3, but Hi. maybe. That's interesting. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll check it out. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they were, nope. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay, that's working. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Whoa, whoa, hey, 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 ah, uh, poop on a brisket, where, where is my, uh, poop, 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 shoot, shoot, I have lost him, I have lost him, nope, ah, uh, damn it, shoot, nightmare mode, man, it's, it's funny, this one ramped up in difficulty real fast, punch him in the face, What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? I am standing here. I am standing here at the ready. What is he gonna do when I punch him in the face? <laughs> like, I could get things to throw at him. I could do a little kick. I could show him my little foot moves, a little, little foot action. What's, what's Springtrap gonna do? He's on the ground, crawling, he's helpless, he's stuck in an effing vent. He can't do anything. You got nothing. Hey. That's a bummer that I haven't found him yet. Hello? Try to push him into five, I guess. Wow. Uh, are you already in the vent? Is that? Oh, there you. Wow. What are you doing over here? Stop. Stop that. That is a weird place for you to be, buddy. Okay. There, there you are. Damn it. Thanks, thanks a lot. Hello? 
Here, I, I, this is a tricky one because we got to push him back. Now that he's getting, the, like, he started really close to us, which kind of sucks. Um, so, hopefully. Where is he at? Hello. Is he? Oh, damn it. Where are you? Did he hop into the vent? Oh, God! <laughs> he did hop in. Spoiler alert, he hopped into the vent. Fun fact, he was in the vent the whole time. ba da ba ba da ba It is drawn. What? No! Come on. Uh, <laughs> that's funny. This one got hard in a hurry. Um, they also started him in one of the worst possible positions he could start in. Uh, great. And we're already starting off with two errors? Jeez. Oh. Well. Well. He's in the vent, aren't he? Where are you at? No, nope, I'm dead. That's it. <laughs> this is like the selfie that you don't want to post online. This is the sel like these are the selfies that get sent to me with, from people who take screen grabs of the uh, of the live streams. They're like, I got this really funny image of you. Look, but look at this. Kick, kick, kick. Get out of here. Hey, let's spawn in a different location, shall we? When you're spawning there, you're already starting so far back um, as far as progress is concerned. I really want to beat this one, so that way we can just check off FNAF 3. I'm really eager to check off FNAF 3. Ugh, where are you? Okay, you should be here. Great, we got reboot all. We're already starting off strong here, friends. Okay, where are we at? He's there, pushing back more. Nope, damn it, damn it! Vents. Wow, where, where, where were you that time? All right, we'll do this. Man, we're getting just roadblocked all over the place. At least we did two of these. Uh, I'll do this one one more time, and then we're hopping over to Scrap Baby. We'll we'll just keep moving through them. Oh God, where are you? Okay, he's there. Great. Now we've got double errors already because it took so damn long to find him. Nope, nope, switch. Go, lure him this way. Come on. That didn't work. And he's in the vents. I've never been good with the vents. If you couldn't tell. So he's coming from the... Nope. Okay, there he is. Five. Lure him. Lure him. Lure him back. Lure him back. Nope. Stop. 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 There. Nope. Why are you coming back there? Go. Why are you coming back? Come back. There we go. Five. Hello. Come back. Come on back. I don't want you in the fence. I don't want you around there. I want you... Nope. Go. Go back to camp five. If you would be so kind. Video error. There we go. You would be so kind. Five. Nope. What? You are still not listening to my my call. Damn it! Damn it! Nope. Damn it! Where are you? Are you at my door? Are you at my door? No, that's just Foxy. That's just Foxy. Where? Where'd you go? Where'd you go, son? You're in the vents, aren't you? Seven. Nope. Stop. Ah! There. Okay. Great. He's back. Oh, I don't know why he teleported all the way back there, but I'll take it. I will be, I will take that all day long. Come on. Way to not, f there, stay here, stay here, stay here. Stay there, great. Hello. Keep going back. 
keep going back. Okay, I'm just gonna reset the audio device just so I get a maybe extra push or two out of it. Oh god, Hi. are you kidding me? Ventilation, come on. Okay, he's an eight. Whoo, boy! Hello. Oh, get out of get, get lost, balloon boy. I wasn't even looking at you. No one, no one cares about you. Seriously? What the heck? <laughs> Great, he's a nine. Nope! Come on. Come back to me. Hi. There it is. And he's moved. He's moved to... Uh, where? Nope! Stop! See in the vents? Yes. Damn! Why? 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 That was so fast. Why are you there? Here, look at me. Yeah. Woo! I'm phasing into your body. Whoa! Look at me phasing into your body, you weird, creepy zombie man. Damn it. Uh, right? He was just there. Here, take a break from that one. Darn it. Hot take. That sucks. <laughs> there's, there's my hot. We started that one with a hot take, and I'm ending with a hot take, which is, come on. The jump from four to five actually is really uh, steep. Let's do. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna have to be in nightmare mode anyway. Plush baby, and by that it's scrap baby, and by scrap baby I mean my most miserable mini game in this thing. <laughs> Get ready, ladies and gentlemen, for a lot of up close and personal time with Scrap Baby. We did okay on this one yesterday, uh, the first, like our first round at it. It's true. Okay. Got it. Are you at there? You are. <laughs> if you're looking, if, if you're confused as to what I'm seeing, uh, don't worry. It is just as hard to make them out as it looks. There we go. There's one. Okay. Nope, there's one. There's one right there. There's one. I like that they move. Right, I think part of why this game is so amazing is it brings to life so many creatures that were never really, they never, you know, moved. They just kind of showed up and were spooky. Right, but now they move. Oh, there's one. Ooh, you're far back there. I haven't seen, hey. There's one. There's one. There's one. Okay. There's one. Ooh, there's two. You won't die. Get out of here. There. Good, two. That was close. I'm assuming. It seemed like it was. Sorry, I'm focused about this one. I can't make snarky comments. Oh, hey, whoa! That's a new hiding spot. <laughs> that sucks. Don't love that one. I there she is. I, I saw you. I saw you. There. Get out of here. Get. Go. Get out of here. Five. There. There. Charge. Shoot, come on, come on. Yes! Oh! Oh, yeah! Oh, man. I oh, Yes! Sure, I died a bunch of times to Springtrap. Sure, I died a bunch of times to Freddy. 
but that right there is victory enough for me, man. I was worried that that one was going to be another just miserable, miserable time. Chica, I could kiss you on that sexy beak of yours. Mwah! Yes! It does bother me a little bit that your bib is phasing a little bit into your arm. <laughs> Seems odd. Seems like that's a very basic graphical oversight, but whatever. You beautiful hunk of chicken. Thank you. Thank you. Great. All right. Hey, great. I'm okay with that. You do you, buddy. I support you and everything that you do. Uh, that's actually not true. You're probably a horrific killer who uh, taunts, uh, that lures children and uh, does horrific things to them. So, you know, ignore what I just said. Fun time, Foxy. This is it. We can finish off a dark room. Another whole slate of things. Let's see what this has in store. Uh, so if you'll recall from last episode, uh, this was move thumbstick, flash beacon, pull trigger, cross room. So this one, it's, it's all pitch black. It's from sister location. And you had to move a little. It was like one, two, it was like four steps and flash. One, two, three, four, and flash. Like it was very rhythmic. So I'm assuming that this one will be largely the same. I don't know. Uh, maybe like a slightly different tempo or something like that. Uh, we'll find out. <sighs> okay. Looks largely, it seems like it's largely the same. Uh, uh. Huh. <laughs> this is only a. Whoa! Huh. Oh no! Did you see that? Yeah. What? Good are, luck. Are all of them? <laughs> oh, buddy. Oh, this is terrible. There's so many of them! I'm kind of amazed you're still alive. <laughs> I don't know what to do with this one. He's right in front of me. Okay, he... Okay. So... Is only Foxy moving? It's a great question. Also, let's call a spade a spade. It's technically lol bit. You can tell based on the test pattern. Uh. <laughs> Dead. It's as ridiculous as it sounds. I'm shocked that they would make that a canon character. This is very scary. Ba ba! Damn it! Ba ba! Ba ba! Ba ba! Jasper Smith. Ba ba! Ba ba! Oh my yes! god! Yes! 
<laughs> oh man. Oh man. Oh, I, I, I don't know if all of them are real. I don't know if they were all there just to like fake me out and distract me from lol bit. I don't know. I treated them all like they were real. And it worked. I, I think the rhythm thing is really what that boils down to. Being really disciplined over the amount of steps that you're taking, being really disciplined as to like your your hitting, your flashes at the right time. Okay, that's it. I mean, here we go. So at this point, great, it's Foxy. You're actually the least of my concern at this point. Like you have jump scared me very few times, uh, except for the, the parts and services one, but hey. You do you, buddy. You are always my favorite, just like phone guy. Maybe I'm a serial killer in disguise. Who knows? That's going to come back and haunt me at some point down the line when I'm accused of some random crime. So anyway. <laughs> uh, uh, so anyway, let's, uh, let's take an assessment here. We have two for FNAF 1, and we have one for FNAF 3, and we are done. And then we have unlocked whatever this is. And then that's it. And then it becomes just find Easter eggs, and I presume figure out whatever the secret ending is. I'm gonna phase into this. Let's listen to that cassette tape that we unlocked earlier, because I'm really curious about it. I wanna know what's going on. My buddy, uh, the bunny is not around here, so let's listen to tape 13. They lied to us. Of course, They duh. lied to all of us. Constantly. They told us that the whole point of this VR game was to undo the bad PR done by a rogue indie game developer who supposedly made up Scott. a bunch of crazy stories that tarnished the brand. But that's not true at all. In their haste to develop this VR game and clear their name, they sent us some things I don't think they intended us to see. Huh. Such as a hard did. drive containing emails between Fazbear Entertainment and a certain indie developer. Fazbear Entertainment hired the game developer. Those indie games were designed to conceal and make light of what happened. This isn't just an attempt to rebrand. It's an elaborate cover-up. A campaign to discredit everything. So, this is odd. Uh, so if I, and Chris, correct me if I'm wrong, chat, correct me if I'm wrong. So not only has Scott made himself canon within the universe, which we know from the initial roller coaster ride, where they're like, all of the, the previous games, or like all the previous tales were the rantings of a lunatic. So Scott has not only made himself canon in this universe, but based on what they just said, she just said, he was hired by Fazbear, right? Am I, am I understanding this right? Fazbear Entertainment hired Scott Cawthon to make those initial games, to make light of the situations that had happened with the Five Nights at Freddy's series, like the murders and stuff, the missing children incident. Is it right? Is, am I interpreting that right? That's what it sounded like. So Scott Cawthon, first off, it's, it's crazy that he's even like a canon character in these games. In and of itself, very strange. But hey, this is Stranger Things have happened. I don't know if Stranger Things have happened in the series, but let's say Stranger Things have happened in the series because there's been a lot of strange stuff that happened in the series. But do not only have him be hired or like be present in this universe as like the lunatic who's spreading rumors, but to then have himself be hired on by the company covering up the murders thereby means that Scott Cawthon is guilty of like, uh, he's an accomplice in all of this, for lack of a better word, right? He was hired out to make light in order f to have this be like a, a PR stunt, right? Like that, the train of logic makes sense, right? I, I get, like I wanna, I don't know, like I need to like listen to that again. And yeah, I was gonna say, let me, let me, it. I'm curious, before we, before we do another, uh, a night, I'm. They lied to us. Okay. They lied to all of us. Yep. They told us that the whole point of this VR game was to undo the bad PR done by a rogue indie game developer Scott. who supposedly made up a bunch of crazy stories that tarnished the brand. Okay, but Scott. that's not true at all. In their haste to develop this VR game and clear their name, they sent us some things I don't think they intended us to see, such as a hard drive containing emails between Fazbear Entertainment and a certain indie developer. Fazbear Entertainment hired the game developer. Those indie games were designed to conceal and make light of what happened. This isn't just an attempt to rebrand. 
It's an elaborate cover-up, a campaign to discredit everything. I, I think you're right. I can't see that it would be anything else. Right? I mean, if you're actually taking everything she's saying and following, like, I mean, she says it in a very roundabout way, and you have to kind of, like, follow the logic and fill in, like, the missing pronouns and stuff, but the, it does seem Scott Cawthon was hired on by Fazbear Entertainment to make light of the murders that had happened at, at Fazbear Pizzeria's. And so this game, like, they were told, oh, this is a game of rebranding, but that's not the case. Weird. Weird, man. This, this <laughs> If this is, like, built into whenever they make the movies, that's awesome. If this is built into the movies, that would be great. I'm really curious what they're doing with the movies at this point. Because at this point, I don't think you can go back. Like, maybe you do the missing children's incident as a standalone thing, but... Yeah, I, it'll, it's, inter this is interesting. It's weird. It's very odd. Uh, I like it. I like what it's doing. I like where it's headed. Uh, he's getting more solid, by the way. Uh, I'm just noticing now, not only is he closer, but as we collect more coins, uh, I can start to see reflections on his suit, right? I can see the light reflecting off of his suit, uh, where before it was just kind of phasing through, I believe. And so he is definitely becoming more and more real, more and more well-formed, uh, and will probably end up uh, killing me or taking over my body before this whole thing is done, because that is how these games go. So FNAF 1, huh? Let's do it. Let's try it. All righty. So yeah. movement patterns for Freddy. Thank you. He begins, as you know, at the show stage. Yes. From there, he moves into the dining area. Yep. Then the restrooms. Yep. Then the kitchen. Then the kitchen. And then the East Hall. Restroom to kitchen, then East Hall. Apparently, mm -hmm. you can, if you keep flipping back to him at the show stage as kind of like a, a repeat of your camera cycle when yeah. you go through it, you can attempt to lock him there. All right. So he'll stay there. But and I should shut the door when he's next to me, right? Yes. I mean, if he makes it down that far, You're done. if you open the door and turn towards the door at any point while he's there, he'll kill you. Interesting. Huh. Okay. 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 So, I mean, he is kind of like Foxy. Um... There we go. Chica's coming. See, I just I was just being too lazy before. I was being a lazy night guard, man. I was just like, I'm not checking my cameras. I I know these animatronic movement patterns enough. Little did I know. Little did I suspect. I've been a fool. That's coming from the that's coming from the recording. Recording's done. Okay, they're still there. 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 He's there. Gonna shut that just because she's coming. She's coming. Chica's coming. Foxy should be coming. Chica's still coming. Watching Freddy coming. Locking him on stage. It's where you were born. You are a star, Foxy Freddy. You need to be on stage. You need to be on stage, you beautiful bear. Do you think he's happy, slaving away on stage for you every night? Oh, Door. Man. Right? Foxy, Freddy, your audience needs you! Your audience needs you on that stage! <laughs> on that- those small little children need you on there! You bring such joy to their hearts! Your audience awaits you! You're a star, baby. Wait, who? 
he is moving all over the place. So now he's in the bathrooms. Yep, okay. Okay, bathroom Freddy. Bathroom Freddy. Check in Chica. And bathroom Freddy. Bathroom Freddy, Chica. Chica's gonna kill me, I think. Either that or... Weird. Chica, where'd you go? Why? Yep, okay, great. Nope, he's moving. So now he's in the kitchen? We're led to believe? Okay, yeah. I'm... This well, he, yeah. Stop. Okay, oh, there's... That's weird. She was just, you know, chillaxing that whole time. That's cool. That's fine. So that's Foxy. That's Bonnie moving into position, so I should keep that door shut. Here's Chico over there. Great. There's Freddy. I see him. I see his eyes. I see him by the whites in his eyes. Okay. Great. Well. Gabriela Gutierrez is on uh, rooting for nope. the other side. She says, nope. go, Freddy. Really? Really? Come on. Are you gone? Great. I'm, I'm dead. Let it be known. Is Great. Locking him in. Wait. So Freddy should be down here now. So at this point, right, I should shut that door, pretty much? Yes. Really? Okay. And don't open it? Yeah, I mean, I hope he goes away. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Chris. I'm sending, uh, I'm sending positive vibes. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. You're the best. It's 5 a.m. I mean, you know. Oof. 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 Big oof. Big oof going on right over here. Big oof. Big oof. Big oof. Nope. Shoot. Nope, shut it. Here he comes. No, nope, I'm dead. Damn it. Oh, I was so close. Oh, man. I was so close. Damn. So. All right. Oh, we're so close. How much time do I got, Chris? Uh, probably another 15. Oh, great. Perfect. Awesome. Freddy, your audience awaits you. Don't believe him. He's phone guy, but he's also the guy who apparently made the games that made light of these situations and are killing kids. So, there's a lot of stuff going on with Scott Cawthon. I mean, as an indie developer, man, he's got to wear a lot of hats. Little did I realize that he also would choose to wear the hat of one of the villains of the franchise. At Sly McKing says, I love how Chris is reading the random comments in the chat and not the million comments saying where the keypad is. The keypad for the vent thing is not in FNAF 1. There are no vents in FNAF 1. But I appreciate your sassy tweet. <laughs> wow. Chris, I'm feeling a little feisty over there, buddy. <laughs> yeah, we'll hop back into FNAF 3 uh, before the end of the stream so we can at least get uh, the coin or cassette or whatever. It may be. Okay, so here's Freddy still hanging out. Uh-huh. Okay, here's Foxy. Nope. That's Freddy moving. This is super nifty. It's gonna be Foxy moving. There it is. Okay, so I did that for a reason, just so you know, like, I knew that it was still banging. But I was curious because I've been seeing the curtain close as though he's behind it again, 
even though the banging's still going on, right? So I wanted to see if, hey, if I open the door, even though the banging's still happening, but I see the curtain close, maybe that'll help me conserve a little bit of extra power. Fun fact, it did not, but now we all know, and I like to think that we're all a little bit smarter because of it. So you're welcome, internet. The more you know. Who knew? Who knew that in a game full of a bunch of new gameplay mechanics, my ultimate challenge, like the final boss of this game, and, and again, I don't know what is in store after we unlock everything, but who would have expected that of everything that we've done, scrap babies and, you know, nightmareons with their technical issues and everything, like as we look back on the series of these playthroughs, the one thing that has us trapped and locked in place is the original Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> Just think about that. I, I think that's fascinating, personally. That's poetic, really. It is, it is, it's poetic that it all comes back to the series and the game that started it all. That's so funny. It's really, really interesting. Uh, I think that's really interesting. Okay, you're hanging out. Fun time, Freddy. Fun time, Freddy. Should we be gone at this point? Yep. So, fun fact, don't, uh, don't listen to the camera. He's not actually back there. So now... Why am I hearing... No, Chica's in here? Damn it. Pay attention to your chickens. Don't count your chickens before they jump scare you. One more time. Darn it. FNAF 1, man. Here it is. This is it. Final boss mode. FNAF 1. Like I said, I didn't fully expect to beat everything uh, on this live stream. And so far we've done two FNAF 3s and two of the, uh, of the dark rooms. That's four of the seven things that we still had left to do. I'm happy with that. I would love to get through, you know, one or two at least one more, one or two more, so that way we can actually, like, go about our business and, you know, save the next stream for finding all the Easter eggs, finding the final cassettes, etc., etc. But, you know, maybe I'll just get good and, and complete the levels faster. Great. My hand it keeps hitting it accidentally. Left, right, left, bop, bop. Right, left, bop. Because I should be able to see them, right? Left, bop, bop. Right, left, bop, bop. Freddy has left. Boxy is about to leave. At this point, Chica. Has it, Great. Chica, like, seems to be implying. Oh, God. Is he already gone to the bathroom? <laughs> you know, I understand. Sometimes when you're in the middle of a show and you just got to go, man, you just got to run off stage and do your thing. Okay, that's Chica. So Chica's going to be back here in a hurry. Nope, still not yet. There you are. Lock you in. Changing up my strategy a little bit here. Go get out of here. No one cares about you. Actually, a large swath of the internet cares about you, but I'm not going to talk about that. Here we go. You're back there. You're there. You're still hanging out. You're gone. And he's moved on to... Damn it. So, 
So Freddy at this point, hanging out in the uh, kitchen, right? Mm hmm Great. Super happy about that one. Someone's in the kitchen with Freddy. That shot, he's there. This is Chica, hanging out. Foxy's gonna attack us. Chica's gonna be here in a second. Door. Okay, so he's he's gone. Freddy's still hanging out here. Uh, Bonnie, nowhere to be found. Chica's gone. I'm gonna raise that. Where's Bonnie at? Nope. So Freddy's gonna be down here now. Bonnie's there. Chica's coming back. So Freddy, hanging out, he's doing his thing, doing doing his doing his business. I'm just gonna shut that over there, cause you know, tr I'm trying everything I can to make sure that I don't get killed by him. Be cool. This is gonna be Chica running past. Chica's gonna be showing up over here pretty soon. Foxy's hanging out over there. Bonnie's over there. Chica and Freddy are over there. Okay. Great. Here we go, friends. I'm not opening that door if I can help it, just so you know. I'm not seeing him. Come on, I'm with No, come on! Oh, I cut. I hit it in time! Damn it! Oh, sorry. Oh, I had it. That was it. That was the run. I that, had it. That was so close. It was so... We had it. We we had it. We... Oh, stupid, Foxy. I even... Damn it. Oh, I'm so mad about that one. Because that... I even hit the door in time. Like, I hit that door real fast. Ugh! Oh, one more time, and then we'll do spring trap and get the coin, and then whatever is left, we're gonna just do for the hopefully the final part of FNAF VR. So that way we're done with it once and for all. Shoot! Ah, uh, ah, oh, that was it. That was the golden run. What a shame! Damn! 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 damn. What a shame! <laughs> the words of Gordon Ramsay. Damn. Uh, in the chat or on uh, Twitter, am I missing anything in this one while I'm hanging out doing kind of all the the old uh, nightly routine here? Um. No, nothing. Just. Well, Davy Jones has the uh, the pro tip of you should have closed the door earlier. Thanks, thanks, thanks a lot. Appreciate that. You know, you're right. I should have. You. You are so accurate in your assessment of my performance. Now, you know, when you have like 12% battery life left, you're really going to be resistant to want to shut both doors because it's going to suck it dry in a hurry, man. Just saying. Becomes, becomes a very risky prospect. Yeah, most, uh, most people are just offering the uh, tip that next time we try to throw something at the glitch bunny in the, in the home screen area, you gotta hit him in the head if if whatever happens is gonna happen. Really? Yeah. Is that was that what we're going with now? That's uh that's you know, I don't know. <laughs> okay. We already got the coin here that appears to the right of the monitor. We did, that is very true. But thank you for it. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Cool. Who's coming? Is that Chica? Yeah, Chica. Great. There are a lot of great uh, Steph level pro tips in the chat right now. <laughs> yeah, ones that are super helpful. Yeah, don't die is is prevalent. Oh, okay. That's great. <laughs> Good. 
Shoot it. Shoot the the cyber demon until he dies. That's that's what I always say. Okay. Holding out for. Holding out for a Freddy. Gone. You're hanging out there. You're hanging. Okay. Don't die. Ah, oh, why didn't I think of that? <laughs> Shut the door. Oh, you're so right. Here, we're just gonna shut this. Just because I don't want to deal with it. Oh, there's one. Hi. That's both of them. So he's... This is gonna burn through. Some, uh, some quality battery life right here. Because they're both out there. It's gone. Great. And is... So Bonnie's still there, apparently. Cool. Great. Feeling good about that. Gone. Nope. Definitely not. Definitely not gone there. That is uh, still that is still uh, an animatronic who is hanging out. <laughs> that is that is unfortunate. Are you gone now? Yes. Great. Okay. <laughs> Fantastic. Thanks. Thanks for that one. Okay. So this is going to be Chica walking past me. Yep. Okay. So she's going to be at my door. That's Freddy. There's that, because that's Chica. Great. Freddy. Foxy's over yonder way. Bonnie's still hanging out over here. Oh, okay. It's fine. We got this. We got this, friends. 24%, 5 a.m. It's the best we've done so far. I'm going to keep this door shut, because we're doing good on battery life. You know? Hopefully. Hopefully it's enough. We've played this night about as precisely as you can. I'm not gonna wait. I'm gonna just shut it because I don't trust Foxy. I don't trust Foxy. There he is. What? How did that happen? <laughs> We had 11%, 12%, and he just got... Nope. Nope. I, I call foul on that one. That was ours. That was ours to win. That was... I, I claim that game as a win. Darn it. Darn it. That was it, friends. That was the one. Ah. Yeah, I know. Here, why don't you glitch into the game and... Fix it. Fi fix, fix the power in that one. Is your, t is your tooth okay? Oh no, that's just your tooth glitching around. He d it is worth noting that uh, Glitch Bunny here has like one golden tooth. God, it looks like, looks oh, like you, you got a cavity there, buddy. Uh, can you look up a little more? We couldn't quite see Oh, you see couldn't see it? Teeth. Can you see it? Oh yeah. How his tooth has, like the one is discolored. Oh, weird. Right? Also, what is that around his neck? Are those is that, or, buttons? Or is that, yeah, around the button. Is that like a necklace? Or is that just like a glitchy thing? Right, do you see that weird black, like, uh, crescent moon around the bottom button? Yeah, it looks like it was like plastered onto the outside. Right, that's weird. That's really interesting. It's also really interesting too, like the closer I look at him and now that he's starting to form, you can really see, like he has a seam down the middle of his head and one side is discolored from the other side as though this was like pieced together and isn't like, you know, it, is, it wasn't like the original build of the suit, but rather it was like stitched together from a lot of things. Uh, okay, give me, give me the code in FNAF 3, so that way we can uh, do the thing. It is 3952482. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna lose on this one, but I'm gonna try to get the, uh, 
So, the code above the vent. When you. Hello, hello. Um, this is just a reminder of company policy concerning what the safe room. The safe what room what, what keypad above the vent? Am I missing something? What am I missing? I. Because I. Above the vent, mom. <laughs> Is the vent monitor different than the vent button? I mean, this is the vent monitor. Is it like hey. maybe hidden behind? Oh, wait a maybe it's hidden behind. Huh, that's weird. Here, uh, I could switch it to a... I could, let me switch it to night one, because night one, no one's going to attack me, right? Because um, I want to get this, and then we'll do a round of nightmare, and then that'll have to call it a day, and hopefully we'll finish everything off. Next time, I am worried about Nightmare Mode of FNAF 1 with how this one's been giving us a hard time. Uh, FNAF 3, we'll do Night 1. There is no spring trap. It's literally just, you know, phone dude talking to us for a solid three minutes. So, okay. So you're saying... So it's not there. Hey, hey glad you came back for another night. I promise... The vent monitor. Okay, Isabel Gutierrez says a secret keypad exists in the wall tiles to the right of oh, the it's, player. Oh, it's in the wall tiles? It's above the vent monitor in the wall tiles, and then you enter code 395248. What, so it would be... Three... And then the coin appears on the vent monitor, okay. Yeah, Three. So are we doing, I forget what, was it numbered top to bottom? Three, nine, five, two, four, eight. Nope. Is it like something you can peel back as a part of the wall? Nope. Like if you, is there like a cut in the wall or something if you look back? Oh wait, wait. Oh, it's literally, oh. We're just really short or something. Hold up. Three, nine, five. Two, four. And we found a desk fan. Are you kidding me? So wait, I'm supposed to do it all the way up here. What? Three, nine, five, two, four, eight. Oh, there it is. <laughs> this is, I, I, I gotta say this. This Easter egg has always kind of bothered me, like that whole one, uh, just because it, it's such a weird thing to have to like type into like tiles and stuff, uh, the secret codes that you need to unlock Happiest Day minigame and this and that. But at the very least, if you're expecting us to do it, do it in like a place that's reasonably accessible. Unless we have horrendously set our sensors, and I am much smaller than Chris, but I'm not that much, I mean, I'm smaller than Chris, but not that much smaller, that it would create such a difference. That's crazy. That shouldn't, I mean, it, our sensors are set to your height. Are there any other um, coins, by the way, since I'm in here? I got one here. Is there, yeah, we got two here. Are there any third coins? I was gonna say, is there... We'll wait and we got the cassette, and we got the coin up there. I know I'm dying because of ventilation. Yep. Oh, wait! Wait, where'd this come from? That was not there the whole time. Well, cool. Great! Alright, we got another coin. I'm happy with that. Uh, weird. Okay. I wonder if I have to be on the verge of passing out. In order to uh, unlock that that one, that's really odd. Uh, it's five o'clock, so we might as well finish it off. Hey, so we got a couple more coins. One right there, one right there, and obviously, obviously, the one where you type in the code into the wall, but not the code in the wall when it was over there, and not the code into the keypad that clearly has numbers attached to it. Oh no, friends. Oh no. <laughs> don't don't be misguided by either gameplays past or gameplays that would make sense. Oh no, friends, you plug it into there. This is me. If you could see my eyes right now, I'm giving the disapproving eyes, but you can't see it, so you have to use your imagination. It's fine. Okay, let's do. Uh... Ooh! Oh! Oh man! Look at me, I'm the flying spaghetti monster. 
I'm the I'm the octopus mime. I've got really swole shoulder blades. <laughs> Great. You uh, you need to put some meat on those bones, buddy. You need to eat something. You are not canon. Also, the fact that you're a female and that I'm seeing like your chest so predominantly makes me a little bit uncomfortable. Like your chest is far more pronounced than I expected it to be. Especially uh, on on the back. What's that? It, I, yeah. <laughs> Here, what happens if I eat you? I choke. I don't die. Uh, I need three other ones in order to do that, but, you know. Great. Cool. Ooh. Oh, bunny disappeared. So I got 15 coins. That's cool and all. Um, here, let's do nightmare mode one more time with Springtrap, like, honestly. And then I'm going to have to call it because I have to hang out with Gerard, the completionist. Uh, I have a date. Not really, but I we're hanging out. I haven't seen him in so long. So let's try this. Okay, there he is. Hello. Lure him back. Okay. Hey, don't go in the vents. That would be great if you did not go in the vents. Wow, you know what would also be great? If you actually, like... Where you at? You're probably next to me, aren't you? You're next to me, aren't you? Uh, he is... He is just gone. Nope, there he is. Hey! Hello. Hey! Let's, uh, let's not jump scare me. Let's lure me back. Let's, let's go back here. Let's, uh, let's go back this way. Come on. You're over there. I know you are. You're about to jump scare me. I don't know how you got there. I was doing a very efficient job of luring you away. Yeah, you're okay, fine. It's fine. Just gonna reboot everything while you take your sweet old time to do stuff. Do what you will. Come on. Great, thanks. Don't know how you got there. I was luring you back. It's fine, not bitter about it. We're totally okay with this. You know, I can stay and play FNAF 3 until the cows come home, till the remnant children come home, whatever. Great. Lure him back. Lure him back. Way back. Audio error. Boop. Audio error. Boop. Video error because why not? There we go. Please come back. Nope. There. Come this way. Come back this way. There. Good. Come back this way. There. Please, follow the voice of the children. Listen to the children, Springtrap! Come back. Come to the children. Ugh. Yep, just hang out. You should be coming back. Hey! There you go. Oh, God. You kidding me? Ventilation error. There we go. Where'd you go? Nope. In vents? Yes, you are. Oh, no, that's just, that's just Foxy. Damn it. Damn it. Ah, uh, poop. Camera first. Ugh. Oh. Hi. Four. <laughs> the FNAF three, man. <laughs> oh, this. I remember Nightmare Mode was just an utter mess. Oh, this is terrible. Hello? This is the worst! FNAF 3! You're the worst! You're the bane of my existence! There, okay, great. Lorem to 8, Lorem to 8. Thanks, Phantom Balloon Boy. You are literal garbage. Okay, he's an 8 though. I'm, a, I'm happy with him in 8. I will take 8, that's fine. He's still an 8. Great, Hi. audio error. If he comes back this way- Damn it! Love this level so much. It's the best. The best level of all levels. Game is great. Okay. 
coming? Where you, where'd you go? Hello? Come back. Great. I will take that. Great. I'm just gonna hang out here for a minute. Andrew McLean says, lol. <laughs> there it is. I'm gonna lure you back to camera eight, because you should only have moved one. Bye. And yet you didn't. You moved more than one because this game hates me. It's fine. It's fine. Good. Okay, good. You're still in eight. I will keep you in eight. I like eight. Eight is good. Seven, eight, nine. Hello? Stay there. Stay there. Don't you leave. There's probably children there. There's probably children hiding behind something. <laughs> Make sure you go check them. Check behind that haunted chica mask. Probably some tasty children. Who knows? Did you think of pressing the... the the, the, the wall tiles? Because guess what? Probably in the wall tiles, spring trap. Probably hanging out in the walls. Did you check above the monitor? Did you type in the hex code backwards? Because that's what you got to do, spring trap. Did you reboot all? Because that's what I got to do. Hello. Keep you in car camera eight. Come on. It's four o'clock a.m. We're close. <laughs> Come on. There he is. Great. Keeping him in eight. Great. Great, great eight. He looks uh, almost like Nightmare uh, Fred Bear ish from this angle. It's interesting. Stay there. Don't you leave. Don't you leave my camera. Don't you leave my camera. I am watching you. In the words of the great George Harrison, I got my eye set on you. It's a great song, in case you don't know. <laughs> or I got my mind set on you. So it's apparently not great enough that I remember all the lyrics appropriately, but that's fine. You know, that happens. It's hard. Lyrics are challenging sometimes. Ventilation, sticking around. Hi. Come on back. Come on back. Come back to eight. Come back to eight. Don't you dare teleport around Hello. this weird building. If you do one of those weird teleports outside my door, I will be really upset. Uh, you are Hi. gone. Good. Come back. Yes. Walk on back. Walk back to mama. And by mama, I mean me, which is of, of male, so I'd be papa. Walk back to papa. Let me see that beautiful smiley face of yours. Who's my little serial killer? Who's my little serial killer? That's you. That's you. Okay, I'm passing out. Literally passing out right now. Great. Hi. Ventilation error. Great. Yes! Bah! Oh! Yes! Yes! Great! That was best of all possible worlds. Great, Kellen. You're great. <laughs> You're a great guy, Kellen. I am so sorry. It's so odd that they're like, no, we're gonna separate Bon Bon from, like, just like, like they separated the cupcake from Chica. It's odd. Huh. I wonder if there's an Easter egg or something you can unlock by completing the action figures. Because it's weird, right? That they don't have their other component. I get it. Like, oh, it's just Fun Time Freddy. And it's not Bon Bon, but I do wonder if you unlock Bon Bon, or if you can, if you, like, stick them together, if you might do something. Because it's also weird to me that Chica doesn't have her cupcake. I'm suspicious, friends. I have a lot of things I want to test in this game. There's a lot of stuff that I think could be hiding secrets and Easter eggs. I'm very, very curious. But that's for another day, because here's the, here's the situation, friends. Look at this. FNAF 2. Done. FNAF 3. Done. Dark Rooms. Done. Parts and Services. Done. Vent Repair. Done. Night Terrors is the only thing that we gotta get through when it comes to, uh, but we gotta beat FNAF 1 first. So we have two FNAF 1s, and then we unlock whatever the last, last level is, maybe? We'll find out. Um, got an extra tape today. We got a bunch of coins today. You guys want me to throw something at his, oh, but he's gone actually, so I can't even throw something at his head. Sorry about that. I was excited to do it for you. Um, but you know what else I'm excited about? The fact that we have made significant progress. I didn't expect to beat the game today, but I did expect us to make decent progress, and we did. We had seven things that we needed to do, and we got through five in order to unlock the final eighth thing, uh, I'm assuming. And if not, like if it comes to coin collection and stuff, uh, or cassette tapes, we can just kind of like look online or look through things pretty quickly. I feel like we've done a decent job of collecting the tapes up to this point. Um, 
And we learned a lot, right? Let's reflect on the day, shall we? Beat Scrap Baby, fantastic. Got to learn that Scott Cawthon is a villain in his own series. That was awkward and weird. Uh, you know, Beat FNAF 3, got to spend a lot of quality time with Springtrap, fantastic. Got to revisit FNAF 1. <laughs> you know. Saw the, the lol bit included in a game. Odd choice, but great. Delightful. Got new cassette tapes, uh, got coins, and we're there. Like, we are there. I think it's like one more live stream, and we're like done with this, unless there's some weird Easter egg combination accounting plus style zoo level things that need to be done. But I have a feeling that's going to take a long time of testing because um, VR stuff can just be hidden so well in the game. Um, so that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, we're going to finish this game. Monday? Mo maybe Monday. We'll, maybe tomorrow? I don't know. Ring the bell so you get notified. Subscribe to this channel. Ring the bell so you're notified of live streams. Because I'd like to try and finish it tomorrow because, you know, it would be a nice way to end out the week. It would be nice to just kind of wrap things up. Um, I have a bit of travel going on towards uh, the middle of next week anyway. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, right? I know. So I if we can finish tomorrow. it before that, that would make a lot of sense. Um, so ring the bell to make sure you're notified. That would be great. And otherwise, that's it. We are beating this thing next live stream. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all your encouragement throughout the FNAF 1 stuff. I will take your advice to heart, and I promise I will try to not die. Or I will try to die less. Great. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you either tomorrow or on Monday. And remember, that is just a stream. A live stream. Chris, let's say goodbye in the chat. Linda Rame says, tomorrow, please. I, I feel to, like we should try tomorrow, too. At Corpsey Candy on Twitter says, hashtag GT Live, woo. Woo! Go, Matt Pat, shout out, please. Woo. Been a fan for over five woo. years, and this is the first stream I've gotten to watch oh, live. Well, thank you. Thanks for coming. Appreciate it. Thank you for supporting the channel for so long. And of course, Gamer Cyclops says bye. And Idol Guy 2000 Taco Paco says bye. Bye.